not a drill. We are doing geo duels, and there is a chance, a chance that today we could reach the vaunted level of platinum. I'm just making the casino. Will NL win this duel? Yes, no. Now, I also I feel like I need to um, make a post, or not make a post, but put the post on the screen. Somebody on the subreddit made an incredible post, just an unbelievable post, an idiot's guide to GeoGuessr in Africa. And I read it, but I don't remember absolutely everything about it. But I, rem I looked at the quality of the snorkel. I now recognize the Kenyan snorkel when I see it. I now know Tunisia has, uh, has black license plates. This only helps us, obviously, when we're in Africa. This is not Africa. This is somewhere in South America. This could be an incredible sign. Hold on. Um, there, were, there were other valuable pieces of information. The rift in the, in the sky in Senegal. Um, oh, this is big. Santa Cruz, Bolivia. B.O. Bolivia. Bo's in the house. The Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Oh! I'm trying to think of what else. They said uh, Tunisia. Oh, you know what was a big one? Um, in Nigeria, you have... Let's go. You have a follow car behind you that's usually a police car. Yeah, so dude, I'm def I'm feeling like a little bit more comfortable in Africa, which has been like my second worst uh, continent historically in the game after South America, which to me it appears like we may be in again, but I'm not totally sure. Also, some of the times um, we seem to find ourselves uh yeah i don't know uh anytime i see this I, I think that we're on like one of the pacific islands anytime this looks like a a town from like a video game but something that i've never experienced in real life i default to thinking that we're in like the north mariana islands another great piece of intel that that was given to me in that post it's an incredible post was if you see that you're not in a car, but the Google car is merely holding a selfie stick, then you're probably in Madagascar. Just like little tips like that. That Okay, I mean, this is insane, right? But I am just going to put us basically in the center of the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to put us in the North Mariana Islands. I could be very wrong. I was off by a little bit. That was... Uh, you know what? Same uh, latitude, same latitude. In in many ways, that's basically half right. There's Curacao. That's a tough one. Trasloki per l'Europa. Montaggio. I mean, this seems Italian to me, but I, I'm gonna say that it's a little bit more like northeastern Italy. Is there a northeastern part of a boot? Like, this does not look Italian, so I'm thinking that we're closer to Slovenia, Romania. Oh my god! Okay, so apparently that's the Alps. My mistake on that one. You know, it always takes me a little bit to warm up. Oh, we, oh you should know that by now. Always takes me a little bit to warm up. I was feeling so good when we, um, when we nailed that South American guess, and uh, man... That did not go well. Plant soon? Plant soon? No, I'm not saying Poland's the Alps. I mean, like, where... I, oh, God, it's the Lego ass again. I'm saying where I put my guess was the Alps, so I probably should have thought that one through. This is a tough one. It's Europe. It's dry. They have stop signs. It's dry. You know what this is? This is uh, this is Kyrgyzstan. This is Mongolia. This is actually. You know what? I think this is Serbia. Does Serbia? I'm trying to think. Does Serbia get cold enough for their winters to look like this? I am just being. I'm pleading ignorance. I don't have an answer for you. Um, 
Because it, it's kind of like close to Greece, right? Like, can I just see this? I can't see what that says. I'm going Serbia. It's it's just a guess. Okay. I mean, honestly, considering the limited amount of intel we had, I'm not too disappointed by that. That was oh, there was a flag. Okay. It's Serbia. It's Greece. It's Madagascar. It's Albania. This is Japan. It, but can we get some claps in the chat? It's been so long. We didn't have a single Japanese guest last time. We had no guesses in, like, one of the most beautiful places to, like, ever end up on Street View. Now, I think I'm just taking a guess that we're in southern Japan here. Now, this is a bit of a lark, but... And I know the meme is place. Ugh. Place Japan. What? But have you ever considered, like, that... As somebody who's played a lot of GeoGuessr, like, Japan just looks nicer. It's so, it's always so clean everywhere. Hold on, I found Chat's house. <laughs> We're in South America. We're in a city. That gives us a chance. That is the Romanian flag. We are not in South America. That is the Romanian flag. I'm scared. Just give, uh, this is Romania. This is Andorra! My Andorra! Oh, huge, huge. Okay, so we get to stay in it. I gotta say, Lego ass is not giving us uh, a whole lot of room here. They're working, they're working quick. We're in South America. What are you laughing? Are you, you're minus toing me over my Andorra? It's a joke I'm making fun of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Calling things cape shit, bat chest, so true. Honey, honey, and then he called it cape shit and I bat chested. Okay, now we gotta come up with like a, um, a, a backup guess. It's, it's humid here. It's South America and it's humid. This would indicate to me that, um, by the way, I'm not totally convinced this is South America. No, it's South America, don't be a fool. This would be on the more rainforest part of the continent. Never mind, is dry? No, that's just gravel. You can have gravel and trees in the same place. What are you saying to me? Kelakas. I have no idea. Um, but these buses though, but these buses? I'm going to lose on this guess. What is happening in this neighborhood, by the way? And I don't mean this to sound like in the worst possible way that you could send it, but like, why were so many houses, like they have no, um, they're not done? Or are they done? You know, like, oh, hold on, this could be helpful. I have no idea, man. You know I don't speak Spanish. I have no idea. But they have no idea. So we're cruising. Every Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to go down this way. I know, again, I know how that sounds. But like... Is it... This is an honest question. In this part of the world, are some of the houses like unfinished by choice so that you have like a uh I, this is it sounds horrible i should just stop but like so you have like a big window you know what i mean like i'm sure if you were inside in parts of like north america and you looked up you would be like why the hell do they put a window on the ceiling and i would be like well that's called a skylight it's not really like my thing but it's you know it lets light in and stuff like that it's just different strokes for different folks I don't know how how everybody's architectural preferences uh, are on the world stage. I'm I'm losing my focus. I'm basically just spinning. Let's refocus ourselves. Okay, let's. Um, I'm gonna say that we're in Argentina, close to green. 
but not mountains. So let's go with Buenos Aires, but just outside. All things can... I, dude, I actually accidentally almost had us on the exact right spot. That was crazy. Burger King. Suzuki. This is huge. I have no idea. <laughs> it's... Bro, why so much of the damn world speaks Spanish? Why don't I know any Spanish? It would like... Three billion people speak Spanish and none of them are me? How is that fair? Villa, Villa Hermosa? Villa Hermosa? I don't know, man. Please. This, they know they've got me too. Like, they, they know I got nothing. They could just be sending it right here. Oh, there they go. Okay, hold on. Tall mountains. Tall mountains to me. I tend to put us at the tri-state area. Right between Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. I'm fucked. This is hell. <laughs> Please. Can I get a single guest that's not in South America? I think we've, we've got our wish. I believe we are in... Southeast Asia? I would say that perhaps... This could be um, a more rural part of Indonesia right now. But I wouldn't mind seeing anything at all, really. Okay, what is it? I see beautiful tile building. Oh, that's the Indonesian flag, man. Hold on, I'm accidentally probably like one of the smartest people in the world. Why don't you just put me like right there? Look at that. It's not, that's not Monaco. I played every F1 game. I play up to Monaco and then I crash uh, during qualification and I uh, restart the season. And then I'm like, why am I racing the same courses over and over? And then I don't play it ever again. I know Monaco when I see it, okay? Fantastic Beasts in cinemas, November 18th. That's a little... History doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, right? Because, like, doesn't that movie open this weekend? Sealand, what the hell? The new one, I mean. The one with where they had to recast Grindelwald. Because, like, Johnny Depp got cancelled so he couldn't play a villain or something. Hold on. By the way, I had to apologize in Jay's chat. They were talking about fantastic. I don't know where we are. I don't know uh, where we are at all. At all. At all. At all? That's not a good guess. <laughs> okay, I'll take the L on that one. Holy cow. Again, we were like the same latitude, so I'll take that. But I was... um. I was talking about how you you know you don't need to see the new Fantastic Beasts because any movie with Josh Gad in it is guaranteed to be boring. And then people said Josh Gad isn't in it. And I said, what the hell are you talking about? I know Josh Gad's in that movie. I know what Josh Gad looks like. And then they were like, dude, it's not Josh Gad. And then I looked it up. It's not Josh Gad. It turns out Josh Gad was not the lead actor. This must be Germany. Josh Gad was not the lead actor from the table tennis movie Balls of Fury. They are they're two different guys. I thought it was the same guy this whole time. They look pretty similar. Okay, we are in uh, a part of the world where the signs are everywhere. That's very nice. That's very helpful. That, to me, looks Danish. I see uh, biking infrastructure, but not enough to tell me that this is the Netherlands. Holy, can you give me a second? I'm warming up. I think that we're in Denmark. And we're in Odin's. 
Holy, that's literally Copenhagen. All right, but hey, that, that's the first time we've won for a while. Okay. That feels good. Another European country, uh, big city. The Schloss Museum. I think we're in Luxembourg. Is that how that's pronounced? I think we're in Luxembourg or Liechtenstein. Or Austria. Hold on, look at this truck. Get better at identifying context clues. The truck is gone. Look for flags. Promenade. See, promenade, to me, they, I'm seeing a cosmopolitan mix of languages, which is true of, you know, Europe in general, but particularly, perhaps at a confluence where multiple, multiple uh, languages are spoken. I see German, I see some French, I see... You know what? Just wait a second, because we could be in Switzerland. Just wait a second. This could be Switzerland. This could be what Switzerland looks like. This could be what Austria looks like. McDonald's, huh? Go ahead, say it. I've eaten at that McDonald's. I've eaten at that McDonald's. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're going into the damn mall. Everybody that has run this place is, is named Kaufman? What the hell? Hello? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, we thought 18! Let's go! I'm glad we didn't put us in Luxembourg. Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. Life world? What a mall, man. This looks like the city center mall in Vancouver. I don't know. It's a bit of a niche reference. It's not it's not a place that you would probably go to if you were visiting, but <laughs> There's a car in the mall? Yeah, I thought that was like a North American thing. There would be like a a Ford Mustang in the mall if you put your business card in the in the big clear box to be advertised to for the rest of your life. You got a 1 in 900,000 chance to win it for free. Potravini mix. Okay, no idea what that is. Yeehaw. I guess the Ford Mustang is a little yeehaw. I don't mean it in a negative way. I mean, it's a, a, a free car is a free car. Don't get me wrong. Dude, these are Lithuanian roofs. We've, we've been down this road, not this literal road, but the, the, the road of the roofs many times before. But this does not... You know what? Maybe it does look like Lithuania. Wait, we need to learn what the A that's tipping his hat is like. Maybe this is Hungary, actually. I'm not sure. Like, do multiple languages have the A that's tipping his hat? But the roofs are so Lithuanian. But sometimes I think it's Lithuania, and I say Lithuania, and then it's Latvia. It's not a major uh, error, because you usually are not going to get lethal off of something so small. This just, in, in my heart of hearts, this looks more Baltic than, um, than whatever Hungary's region is. Okay. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Wait, we live till the healing round. Okay. At least. This is Taiwan. This is Japan. This is Japan. Okay, so they're not giving me time to guess. That's fine. I'm going to place us slightly north. People are wearing winter coats. <laughs> this is pretty close. Holy cow. Okay, we're still in it, though. We're still in it. What the hell? We're on the damn track, man. This is such a clutch sign. Please. Oh, I, not what I expected. I don't know where we are. Um, I should, though. I feel like... Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> you, we're in this region, but not there. Here, maybe? Okay, okay, okay. That's what Bratislava looks like. I'll commit that to memory. Bratislava. 
We're in South America with double damage. This scares me. It does suck because like the one of those towns <clears throat> I knew from EU4, but it's been so long since I played EU4. I don't know, um, and I'm just sending it. I don't know where it is. I just know that I know it. And it's it can be a little frustrating. Let's go! Please! It can happen. It can happen. We're back. Knockout comeback victory. A lethal guess in North America's South America. I'll take it. I woke up Tomo and freaked him out. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not my intention. Will NL win this duel? Start prediction. It feels good because I was like, I've been losing. I've, I'm probably like 3 and 11 in the round so far. But at least, you know, that not all wins are created equal. That's for sure. European license plates. The United Kingdom calls to me. Mm, never mind. Um, the the Netherlands call to me, okay, or Belgium, or the Netherlands or Belgium, they call to me. Just want to see if I can see anything at all, really. This feels like maybe we're here, but this feels okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got a double A, double A, usually the Netherlands. If you know you're in Netherlands or Belgium. Yellow plates equals Netherlands? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Sky Rift, no Sky Rift. Selfie stick? Selfie stick? We're, we're on a selfie stick, man. I gotta try the new Intel. Imagine if this works. You gotta give it a shot. I will say usually um, in Madagascar, you're in like a city. And when you're in the forest, you tend to be in Uganda, but I'm just taking a chance. Okay, we're both ass. What was that? The, oh, okay. TOS. This is not... This is Australia. Can I tell you why? Or New Zealand. I'm going New Zealand right away. Wait a minute. Just think for a second. Are we... Yes, we're driving on this side. It's not America. Because it... Here's... Australia and New Zealand are America, but they have roundabouts. It's that simple. And they drive on the other side of the road. Relative to myself. Oh, no! It was uh, Eastern Australia. That's a colossal miss. We don't have round roundabouts that often in North America because people would uh, die. Okay, I'm going to guess that you probably know what you're doing, but if you maybe you think this is Germany somehow, we get ourselves back out here. Philadelphia, Brooke. Oh my god, come on. Get a life. <laughs> it was probably luck, but you peace. Okay. This is uh, Albania. Pardon me. This is Croatia. This is Europe. This is North America. What is, what beer is this? Mm. It's not a beer at all. Ozusko. Lemon. You know what? I've been I've been throwing the Serbian guesses at the wall today. Let's just take a look. I'm insane. Poland, come on. Get a life. <laughs> so it just sounds good. Serbia Cyrillic. Okay, that's I'm um, just one more data point to add. Signs are on the left side of the road. That's a very uh, important data point for us. If you put me in Croatia and there's no roofs, I can't be held responsible, okay? There's another country in Africa where they drive on the left. Or maybe it's... They drive on the right. I gotta read the data point again. I want you to know, by the way, every bone in my body is telling me to just guess that this is Australia. Or New Zealand. I'm not doing it. 
But why, why would I do that? Well, it's because I don't like to glance. It's Australia. I don't like to glance during the game because it gives you information from Chad. Holy cow. But as a streamer, I am predisposed to glancing. Hey, Tomo, can you move? I can't see the screen, buddy. I can't see the screen. So to not glance is foreign to me, which is one of the reasons I like to guess so fast. Okay. This is literally, that's Russia, I think. I, I'm gonna take a stab at us being down here. But it's a big whiff. Oh, that's literally the Serbian flag. Okay. Don't, you can't kill me on that. That's, we're both bad. You're, th this person is getting desperate. They're throwing guesses out there just to see what sticks. Ecuador, Ecuador. So we throw it back at them. Two bucks a gallon. Thanks a lot, Byron. Hi, Tomo. You want to leave, buddy? Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! Person using your strats equals they're getting desperate? Well, if you ever consider it takes one and no one, there you go. We're, we're two and two today. Okay, Tomo, I'm going to let you out of my office, okay? Just remember this in case you want to come back in. You're in control of your own destiny until the door closes. <clears throat> Start prediction. Cue for a duel. I love when Chad is like, why? And it turns out to be the right answer. Me too. Um, but at the same time, I do also recognize that there's wisdom in crowds to some extent. Any answer plucked from chat is not necessarily likely to be great. But I think if you took chat's average answer, if you did a vibe check, you would probably get much closer than me on the, the average guess. I don't know if that applies at, at a high skill. I would say no, but... You know, I can only be so many places, you know? Why am I squinting? Like, that's gonna, like, it's my eyes that are the problem. Like, if I squint, it's gonna make the camera, make the letters appear bigger. Human brain is a, is a funny thing. Can just, a, a crumb of context? A single crumb of context would, would help me out a lot here. Doing the streamer thing, repeating things twice. Ah, this is the Royberg breeder... Breeder... Breeder Rivier? The Royberg Breeder Rivier? Um, I feel like we've got to be... I mean, it's like New Zealand or is South Africa. I'm... Barely guessing. I'm going South Africa. Okay, thank God. I don't know, because it wasn't that... I guess it was... A, here's the thing. I saw R-O-O-I. That screams Dutch to me. So I'm going South, South Africa. But then there were mountains. Which I guess there must be in South Africa as well. Because that was South Africa. The sky has been stitched together. We have no duct tape, but there is a luggage rack. This means we are in Ghana. And... No, Ghana has duct tape. Senegal has the sky stitched together. Yes, okay. Yeah! Okay, okay, a metagamer, a fellow metagamer. I did read the post. Luggage rack, no duct tape. Senegal. Welcome to Earth. What the heck? This doesn't tell me anything. 
Are you telling me you can get a, a king size mattress for fifty five dollars and three kill? Oh Jesus Christ! We're close to the equator. <laughs> Put me in Colombia for fifty five dollars. Okay, is Mexico City fair enough? Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's look. That's a lot of points to lose on that one. Do you, how much do you trust me, chat? I think we can take a stab at this one. I think we're in Mongolia. I'm just being honest with you. I think we're in Mongolia. Please don't. I have points on the line. Just trust me, okay? I still feel okay. I think it's Mongolia or Kyrgyzstan. It's the capital city of, of Bulgaria. Pain? It's alright, still warming up. Back to silver. It had Mongolia energy. I thank you for the for the validation at least. Oh, it's true, Mongolia has a, a luggage rack, too. We're in. Okay, finally, someone in our ELO. We're in, we're on, uh, we're on, we're on, we're in Vietnam. Okay, cool. Yeah, good guess. I don't know where we are. We could be anywhere. How about right here? You piece. <laughs> we get, we guessed right on top of each other. This would be a great time to be in Africa. I don't see rifts in the skies. I don't see any... Oh, but behind us, there's context. European road signs. Driving on the left. Wait a minute. I feel like, I mean, that's obviously the Japanese flag. I know you, but I don't know you. You're not Kenya, I'll tell you that much. You're not South Africa. Here's some more info, more info. Do we have a tail car? I don't think so. We have no luggage rack. There's no rifts in the sky. So probably not Nigeria. Not Senegal. Not Ghana, because we would see duct tape. So I would say this could... You know what? I feel like that flag... This is what I'm going down the flowchart in my head. Eswatini, Lesotho, and Botswana are all very close in terms of how they look according to that guidepost that we had. So I'm think I'm narrowing it down in my brain between Eswatini, Botswana, and Lesotho. I don't know what any of the flags look like off the top of my head. But I certainly do feel like the one that we saw could have been one of them. So maybe let's take a guess and force I feel like I'm more comfortable right now. Let's take a guess and force them to get Okay, sure. We're in a similar that was Lesotho. Good to know. Good to know. South Cincinnati? Why are you saying Lesotho like that? Cuz I'm from North America and like 95% of the people that live in Canada and the United States don't have a passport or only got a passport so they could go on a bus trip to like Rochester, New York. Okay, we're not well traveled. We're, we don't know as much, I would say, about the broader world as, uh, around us on average. Um, Southeast Asia. This language, not Laotian. This, but it does. This doesn't feel like Bangladesh to me. Maybe it, maybe it is Bangladesh. Maybe that's... No. Or is it Sri Lanka? Seems like too dry to be Sri Lanka. I feel like Sri Lanka's... A little, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. <clears throat> I 
That hurts, but 88 points. Another 100 of those, we got it. Now this is... That's just, that's not even the flag, I think. It's just like a pair of, I don't even want to say it. We're in, I think this is Laos, man. I don't believe that this language is Thai, and I know that from Meet the Parents. Oh yeah, Jack Talk Thai. Jack Talk Thai very well. That's the Cambodian flag? Place me just outside of Nam Pen. That's the Laotian flag. My bad. I was looking at their guess and I got mad. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase. I was looking at my guess and I got mad because they were close. And I wanted to say get a life and then I realized I'm mad at my own guess. <laughs> Which wasn't even that good. Cyclists, but it's like, oh, this is the it's Czechia. Honest question. Okay, don't answer this unless you're uh, from Czechia. Okay, okay, Poland, whatever. If I grew up and it was the Czech Republic, occasionally I accidentally say Czech Republic. Is this considered a a faultless misstep? Or is it like offensive? Like if you if you called Canada like you know New England or something like that, I wouldn't be offended. I mean, I guess it's a little bit. It's cringe. It's fine. You're fine. It's it's a hate crime. <laughs> what the hell, man? I should have been talking more than guessing, or guessing more than talking. Ah! I'm dead. I died. All right. <clears throat> it's because I was having fun. Uh, well, anyway, road road to uh, silver. Road to silver's back on. Remember when we were one win away from bronze? I mean, from platinum. Man, we're playing some good gamers today. There have been, like, nobody has been ass. <laughs> this looks like, this is Laos, man. That's the Laotian flag. Usually, within an hour of playing GeoGuessr... What the hell? Within an hour of playing GeoGuessr, we usually encounter at least one or two people that, like, for that guess, would have been like, mm, I think that's Miami. But today, everybody's like, they got it down to, like, the right region, at least. On, on all but the most difficult of guesses. But well, just you wait. When that second delirium tremens starts to hit the Western European well-traveled crowd who, you know, is now home from work, they start to get a little sloppy, that's when we step in. That's when we Matt Damon all your chips away. Okay, just think to yourself. Oh, you know, no, 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 I saw this before. And I said, what is this, like a roadside memorial or something? And, and it ended up being a country with a high degree of Buddhism, which narrows it down to um, just about the whole area of Southeast Asia and also Beverly Hills. I'm just going to say we're in Northern Thailand. Okay. I don't think we deserve to be closer there. I was just taking a guess, basically. But we've probably been burned by the flip side of that. This is It just feels Australian New Zealand to me. I've seen Harcourts in Australia or New Zealand many times. It's Australia. Now, if you're in Australia and you see trees, you're probably not in Western Australia. It's Christmas. It's the summertime in Australia. I'm going to say we're right around here. I'm taking a guess. I'm taking a guess. New South Wales has lots of yellow plates. That's why I put us there. That's why I put us there. That's not Mel 
Melbourne, Melbourne. It's got, it's got like close like a million people in it. Look, I'm not, I've done, look, I'm just, I'm just saying. This is the United Arab Emirates. Um, this is the other side of Dubai. I have to imagine that this is, oh, wait, a sign. Yeah, I'm going to say, based on all the signs that say Dubai, my personal gut feeling here is that we're in Dubai. Just take a stab at it. I think we're in South Cincinnati. Here we go. This is a home game. It's Canada, baby. Canada Post. What? It's, uh, it's, it, French is bigger on the van. Which means we may well be in Quebec. A license plate I don't recognize. I think that's a Manitoba license plate. It's hard to tell. It looks like the Irish flag from there. I'm seeing the... I think this is Manitoba, man. Put me in Manitoba. And you know what? Just play your cards right. Put me, put me close to Winnipeg. I know I said that it, it had French in bigger letters on the sign. But we're just, like, nice like that. Okay, it was a Saskatchewan license plate, but that's so fucked up. There's no way that... Oh, that was a healing round. That's I was ready to lethal their ass. <laughs> you give me Canada on a healing round, you piece of crap. Give me, give me Canada on quadruple damage. I'm going to guess that we are in... Luxembourg or Belgium just doesn't look French to me but we don't find ourselves on French highways too often do you know what I mean when I say it looks more European than French I know roughly we're in Belgium I don't know where Walloon is though I think it's up here you know like I don't know. Oh, it's in the south. Sorry. <laughs> like, France has a different look than the rest of... Like, France, Spain, England, obviously. They have a different look than the rest of Europe. Basically, what I'm saying is when I'm in... If I see a French road sign, I know where we are. If I see a blue road sign, I just know that we're in Europe. Give me something. Come on. Come on, give me something. I mean, this is, it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Could I, could I read a billboard perhaps? Could I read a billboard? This looks Estonian to me. Let's not tunnel vision on that. This looks Finnish to me. Lithuania, I see Lithuania down there, you piece of crap. This must be Vilnius. Let's go. I saw it right here. Hey, I had an honest... This is a genuine question for you. And not... I don't mean this in like a sus way or anything like that. Why is Lithuania so good at basketball? And Greece. Like... Latvia, I don't think is necessarily like a huge basketball... I could be wrong. You don't hear about Latvia having many upsets at the international stage though, I feel. You don't hear about the Estonian basketball team going going off. What is it about Lithuania? They have Kristins Porzingis. I mean, this feels like Finland to me. This could be this is two hockey players names merged together. So I'm that's Kapo Kako and Yari Curry mixed together. So I'm just I'm going right here. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it's the most cracked guess in history. Holy cow. To be that close in Finland. All skill, baby. They were really close too. Exact damage. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He's actually on his way to Platt. No, we got a, a long journey back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'd, I've lost more than I've won here. But like, I don't know. What, what is it? Is it? 
Because I see people saying it's because of Kristaps Porzingis. Is that it? Cause, no, because they he must be like 25, 26. And I've been hearing about Lithuania and basketball for like, you know, my whole life. Also, he's Latvian. <laughs> okay, my bad. Rift in the sky. I mean, this sky does look stitched together, but... I have no idea right now. I, but it's true for, like, other sports as well. Like, in hockey, I don't mean to insult anybody, okay? In hockey, Sweden and Finland are, like, perennial international powerhouses. I'm, I'm thinking we're in South Africa right now, by the way. And then Norway is, like, they don't even qualify for the Olympics most of the time. Sometimes, yes, but usually, no. Do we have a do we have a tail car? No tail car. Okay. Also, we're driving on the other side of the road, which I feel like is a clue that I should know but don't. I should know this. Maybe maybe it's Kenya that that drives on the other side of the road. But if if am I just saying that because I saw a sign that said Kanye and then if you rearrange the letters in Kenya, you get Kanye? Okay, it's Botswana. Good to know. Good to know. That's uh, 4,000 points. We're, we're up against somebody with a verified badge. I'm scared. And then I don't even know if... And again, this is going to sound offensive. Like, you can make fun of my country. We just qualified for the World Cup for the first time in my life. This is Hungary. But, like, I don't even know if Denmark has, like, an international hockey team presence. They might be in the same division that's, you know playing against like South Korea for all I know but they're right next to Sweden you could walk from one to the other this just looks Hungarian to me but then it also looks Lithuanian to me and the roofs I must admit the roofs are quite Nordic well, not on the apartment buildings. Emoji sign. We have an emoji sign. That's the Hungarian flag. Because when you're really hungry, you like the lettuce on the bottom of the burger. Put me right here. So true. So don't mind this too. It's, it's a mnemonic to remember it. Let's go. We're, we're right back in it. That 200 points could make all the difference. No rift in the sky. That's because we're um, in. Bangladesh or Sri Lanka. I think. I might have been wrong. I don't know <laughs> where we are. Could this be? No, this is not what the Laos language, which I can only assume is Laotian. This is not what Laotian look like. I hope. I could be very wrong, I guess. Are, am I reading all these signs backwards? I think I'm reading them all. Not that I would... No, okay, okay, okay. I was... Not that I would know what they mean to begin with. Hold on, that's the Thai flag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or was that like the Laotian flag? Because we had the same shit last time. I don't know, man. Do the Thai flag and the Laotian flag look that similar? Whatever, I'm alive. Just make it to healing. Anything can happen if you make it to healing. This guy's pretty good. I'm, I'm in a, a world of hurt right now. As, as with most games we play, we've reawakened the competitive fire that had previously, I can only assume, been dead in GeoGuessr. Now people, they came to play again. So this is Croatia, but the roofs are not Croatian. Which makes me think, oh, we're in Greece. Greece? Let's go. But, and you know what's fucked up is Greece, I don't see a single pillar. 
History class has not prepared me for this. Okay, we lived. I made GeoGuessr big. That's not what I'm saying, is what I'm implying. It's two different things. I see this flag. Zoo. Let's start with the obvious. Gorgeous. Is Poland or Czechia, I think? What, what the heck? That does not help me. I don't feel like I've, uh, I was very wrong, I would say. Which country has the the TH as one letter? Serbia, maybe? It's because this is Cyrillic. Let's put our new information to the test. Do I, do I see a an H and a T combined anywhere? I don't. It doesn't look it doesn't look the same. This looks more like it. it Maybe Bulgaria? I still don't see a T and an H. Moldova? Bulgaria? <laughs> Hungary? Bulgaria? Moldova? Hungary? Bulgaria? Okay, just keep moving. You need the heels more than they do. You've tunnel visioned. You saw a flag. I don't know if it was the, the actual flag. Am I crazy? I thought I've seen the Alexander Wellness Center before. I feel like I've seen it on another guest. You could forgive me for not remembering. I hope. Thank you for giving me so much time. It's like you're playing an honest game. You're not trying the meta. If I were in your shoes, I would be trying the meta right now. Bro is all about the Alexander Wellness Center. People are crazy about it here. That must be the Serbian top level domain. I think we've learned that in GeoGuessr before. Perhaps the town is named Orasak. You know what? I'm just going right there. What the hell? I think they're meme. I think they just put that there to to mess with me. I think they went to Tuvalu just to joke. This looks like mainland Iceland. Like if Iceland wasn't an island, this is what it would look like. I see, I instantly saw two Volvos. I think you know where I'm thinking we might be. But I'll be honest with you, this actually could be Iceland. If you could just put me in a little further. I've been, not to brag. Uh, the sign says for sale. It's Ireland? That's Did I say Iceland? When I said Iceland, I meant Ireland that whole time. I just had like, I had a speech um, mix up. Obviously this is not Iceland, it's not that cold. All right, good guess, that was a good guess. But I'm still alive into the, the only rounds that matter, just like Family Feud. The first three rounds are there just to create uh, memes and clips where Steve Harvey rolls his eyes. This could be Finland. Uh, and then the final round is the only one that matters because the points are tripled. So as long as you win that one, it's got like a 99% correlation rate with, with making it the fast money. My brain says Finland, Finland. But then this look, I mean, it looks a little more south, but how do I know, right? Kauplas? I mean, it's, it sounds like it could be Finnish, Estonian. Two A's in a row in this situation. Helama, Helama. I'm just, I, I'm going by hockey player terminology. People from Sweden be like, my name is, is Mats Sundin. People from Finland be like, my name is Valtteri Nidimaki. This seems more like a, a, a Valtteri Nidimaki sort of place right here. But maybe it's Estonia. How would I know? How would I know? I wouldn't know. 
I'm going to guess that this is the mid-Atlantic region of Finland in the summertime. This still looks Finnish to me, although Cal Plus does make me think of Estonia for some reason. I don't know where that's coming from. In my... And then there, wait a minute, there's two A's here. Kulakas, wait. Elvis Merlishkins. Could it be Latvia, maybe? Jacob, please. I don't see a lot of double A situations. I don't see any Zs. And there's a lot of Zs I'm seeing in Latvia here. I'm seeing some double dots over A's, but I'm not seeing any double dots over U's. Can I see a double dot over a U, maybe? Is it, could it be a Lithuanian thing? No, because I think that then we would be in the... We would, we would think that we're in Hungary. I'm seeing a lot of double dots over O's. Double dot over a U? Double dot over a... Maybe it's rare. Oh, well, hold on. A double dot over a U. Okay, I think I've been convinced to go Estonia. The signs just don't look that Finnish. I don't need to guess. I don't. The, let's just leave that as our backup guess for now. I've changed from Finland to Estonia. If they guess, I go Estonia. If they don't guess, then we maybe find some more valuable information. What's our, our Finnish trump card? That does not look Finnish to me. Our Finnish trump card is if we see coppers, then you're finished. Anything? Halama. Um, Halarma. <laughs> That's Medea. It's a Medea thing. They have... Uh, uh, oh... I don't know about that one. Um, I'm gonna put us like just right around. Do I did I see an O with a umlaut over it? Let's go. Okay, okay. All that just to still be alive by a little bit. But I'm glad we puzzled that out. I'm glad we puzzled that out. That was tough. Oh man, I watched a Medea movie this weekend. Why didn't you tell me their ass? Their their ass. They're not... One of the things you need to know about the Medea movies is that they are not good. But they are funny sometimes. Also, they don't follow the traditional, like, you know, three-act structure of a story. The climax always comes about five minutes before the end. And then there's, like, a weird moment of, like, pseudo-reconciliation. Or, um... Like in one of them, a lady's cheating husband dies and she mourns for like the whole movie. And then in the last five minutes, when she, it comes out that her husband's been like a bad person up until the day he died, she goes and she gets something called a hoe bag and goes to Las Vegas with a much younger man. Like it just immediately, it, it's like climax, end. Like it just falls off a cliff. It doesn't have like a traditional denouement. You, there, you gotta really meet those movies on their own terms, okay? Yellow license plate looks like Europe equals we are in the Netherlands. We're in the Netherlands. To coop. That means for sale in Dutch. I remember we were told that. Sinvicta and I were told that when we played GeoGuessr before. I was always looking for a town on the map called To Coop. And then it turns out that, that if you translate that to English, it means for sale. That's my bad. Let's be honest, the country's not that big. And I don't mean that, I don't mean anything by that. I know you might think that I do because I'm coming from um, the second largest country on earth by land area, um, or at least by surface area. You might have to include lakes to make that count. But um, we're not gonna lethal, we're probably not gonna be lethal. So just put me like right about, right about here. Okay, sure. Also, you can tell it's uh, the Netherlands because of the windmills. 3x damage. I'm ready. Triple damage. To coop. To coop. Round 9. Southeast Asia. This, right now, 
last time we thought this was Indonesia. Now I think this is Northern Malaysia because when we thought it was Indonesia, it ended up being Northern Malaysia. So if it then ends up being Indonesia, I'm going to flip my damn lid. Anything? Anything? Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. One time we found ourselves in a similar area and we were in the Caribbean. We were near Puerto Rico. I have nothing to go on. I have nothing to glean. That's the Malaysian flag. You can't trick me. That's the Malaysian flag. I stick with my gut. I go Northern Malaysia. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's 3x damage. It's 3x damage. We're pulling it back a little bit. Non-dotted lines on the side of the road. We're back in Europe. Put me this way. More information dense. I should know this. I should I should glean something. This seems like Croatian to me. Do I see, I see some Croatian roofs? Take me to the residential neighborhood. That, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it is Croatian. Be smart, look at the signs. Dr. quote unquote Pandex, that scares the shit out of me. This could, it also feels like, like Poland, but the language doesn't seem Polish to me, which makes me think that we could be somewhere near Poland, but not Poland, like maybe Slovakia, but I'm, I'm hoping to not have to guess. Okay, we're stuck. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I have no idea what that is uh, or means. I'm going to assume maybe it's the it's the flag of the duchy. Can I travel down this road to that enormous sign? No, okay. Sportska Olika. Olika is a word we see a lot. So if we get this one right or wrong, Let's try to learn what Olika is, so when we see the word in the future, we don't end up as lost, okay? Olika, I'm remembering Olika. Don't forget, we could be in Romania. We do see some fences. Some people might even say lots of fences. I think it depends on your own personal fence. Uh, you know what? I would not say lots of fences right here. I would say I would say less than a lot. I believe we are leaving the city or the village. I would um, as of right now I would say that I'm most comfortable guessing Croatia. Of course that means it could be Albania could be Serbia. I don't think this is I guess it's not Serbia because it's not Cyrillic. There you go. You're using your brain. We're processing. I, I'm i torn. I'm going to say Albania. The roofs just don't look as Croatian to me. But I'm going to try to like... Oh, no, no. I don't see any umlauts. Put me in Croatia. Oh, they're way closer. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead, but we fought, man. We fought. I'm that's the best loss I've felt this whole time. Because we got a lot of them wrong, like not as close as our opponent, but we fought against the instinct in my brain that was leave and I guess as soon as you find it, or as soon as you think you got it. Send it in two seconds. Instead, I spent three minutes on each one learning something. And Ulika is Ulasa. 
Ulisa means street in Croatian. Ulika, street in Croatian. Hey, have you gone to that Croatian restaurant on Ulika Street? I know that that doesn't make any sense. I'm not trying to pronounce it correctly. I'm trying to get it locked in my brain. <laughs> 